was always the mediator and I was the most unwilling fucking mediator, okay? At this time in my life, I was so done with their shit. I didn't want any part of it. One night we were at the dinner table and these two motherfuckers, they start bickering and there's alcohol involved. So I know what's going to happen after. There's going to be a royal fucking rumble here in a minute and I didn't want any part of it. So I run to my room after dinner and I get in bed and I go to sleep because in my head, they can't bother me if I'm asleep. So I thought, um, I'm asleep for what feels like 10 minutes before I hear my dad screaming, Tatum, help me Tatum, please help me Tatum. And I hear him, I wake up and in my head I'm going, absolutely not, not today fucker, you're on your own. So I roll over to go back to sleep. And as I'm getting ready to fall asleep again, my two older brothers barge into my room and start shaking the shit out of me. And they tell me that our mother has a pew pew and she's aiming it at dad. So I start to get up and I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, can I fucking catch a break in this household? The two older brothers run back to the room and close the door. And I walk into the living room where I see my mom visibly drunk going like this. Hold still. Hold still, damn it. Just, just hold still. And this is the funny part. This part still makes me laugh to this day. I see my dad standing on the couch, running back and forth, trying to get out of my mother's aim, going, Tatum, Tatum, help me! As if I'm not already in the room. I know he saw me, okay? These two people, all she's doing is holding it up like this, and she is laughing her ass off, okay? She's just going, shh, shh, Tatum, Tatum, I'm just going to get him in the nip. It's not even going to hurt. I just want him to shut up. I just want him to shut up. Shh, Tatum, it's going to be, it's going to be so funny. Shh, Tatum. And I'm wrestling. I'm reaching up high, wrestling with her, trying to get this BB pew pew out of her hand. And I finally strong arm it out of her very impressive grip. And I run to my room and hide it. By the time I get back to the living room, I see that my mom has already locked herself in the bathroom and my dad is just now getting off the couch. And he comes and gives me the dad pack. Like, thanks. Thanks for saving my nip. And I'm standing in the living room thinking, these two motherfuckers have to be the dumbest people I know, and they're my parents. I can't tell you what happened the rest of the night because it's really not funny and some horrible shit went down, but I did have a cop come to our house, and we got to see how the lights worked in the car, and that was really cool. And we also got Taco Bell in the middle of the night. So that was pretty sick. Um, the worst part of this entire story is that those two motherfuckers still made me go to school the next day. I remember sitting at my desk, mad as fuck, tired as fuck, thinking my dad didn't deserve two nips. So dad, if you see this, count your blessings, bitch, okay? Because you didn't deserve two nips after that. You made me go to school? That's foul. That is foul, dad.